Hello everyone and welcome back to Omnicraft. I'm Mr. Sirius and I'm in somewhere totally new. So if you watched the last episode you will have seen that I started work on a board game and you're probably wondering why I haven't started the episode there or have I actually done anything on it and you'll just have to wait till a future episode to find out because today we're doing something totally different. So I'm sure some of you right away know exactly what this is but for those of you who don't this is the beginning of an outline of a little town. All these boxes show a building that I'm going to build. And you may notice that these boxes are very strange shapes. They are not straight, they go up and down and side to side and all over the place. And that's kind of the whole point. If you think back to my base, the one I made of concrete, the big black and white one with the towers and all the cool tunnels and stuff like that, is very straight and very modern. And my objective with this town is to do the absolute opposite of that. So I will not use any concrete at all and I am going to try my best to make as many strange buildings of different sizes and colours as I possibly can. Now the purpose of me building this town is that I am going to create this so that villagers can live here. You might remember I've got a farm full of them, well I, I think that breeding farm for the villagers is probably 50 to 60 strong if not more. They uh, kind of got carried away with the carrots. So my intention is to entirely mob proof the whole town so that the villagers will live here without needing to be boxed in or stuck into town hall or a trading hall or anything like that. I want a living town full of villagers moving around, going to their houses, going to their jobs every day and this is where it's going to happen. So I figured what I would do is I would start with this corner building here. So this is going to be the town square area. I know it doesn't look like a lot now, but it's going to be cool. Most town squares, at least in my opinion, should be full of shops because that's the central point. That's where people want to go. Where people go, there are shops. So this is going to be the first shop here. And what I'm going to do is this is going to be a tailor shop. Why a tailor shop, you may ask? Well, I've got some interesting ideas for future armor sets and I might use this tailor shop to show them off or even sell them to other players. So the first thing I want to do is come up with some sort of block palette. So let's just get rid of this row here and we're going to start with a log outline. Do I want normal logs or do I want strip logs? Because I kind of like the faded pattern on this. Let's put some blocks down for comparison. Pure granite and pure andesite are kind of boring, but let's see if we can make them look pretty. Polished andesite and polished gravel. I genuinely don't think I have ever used these blocks ever. You know, I kind of like them both. So I'm going to try going with the stripped spruce logs and the polished gravel. I know it's very unconventional, it looks strange, but we're going to try it out. This is going to be a strange looking town, but it's going to be a fun town, that's for sure. So we want this part to be four blocks high. Uh, where do we want the door? What would be, what would make sense here? Let's put down the front row here so we know what we're actually doing. Uh, so we have that there. I think we'll put the door here and that'll be the entrance. So let's put this here. We'll put some granite here and that's where the door will be. So let me just build this up a bit and see how it's starting to look. Now this is the part where it gets a bit more interesting because you have to decide how you're going to define the lines of the building. So I think being above the door is probably the best bet here. So let's just put this here and have a quick look. So yeah, it definitely looks strange and it does not look conventional at all. I I am very aware of that. So these buildings are going to look weird, but we're going to do lots of little fun things to them to give them lots of character and just make them a bit different. So it's not just the same boring cobblestone and spruce house that you've seen in every other video or the modern, amazing looking houses and things. I just really wanted to do something a bit different. Also, you may be thinking, did he mean to put these buildings so close to each other? And the answer is yes, yes I did. I want this to be a cramped town with lots of tall buildings that are all strange shapes and very sort of, what's the word? Twisted, I guess? I want something that feels like a town where everything was built very close together and has been torn down and rebuilt and things are all strange looking and it's just a big mixture of different styles. So let me just go on with this build a little bit more and we'll see how it looks. Right, okay, so I've done the full first floor. Let's have a, a quick look and see how this actually looks from the outside. You know, I'm not sure. As I said, it's going to be very strange. I think potentially the separation of the granite with all these lines around the edges might be kind of ruining it. 
let, let's have a little experiment here. So let's get rid of this wall and let's do some light grey terracotta. Oh, see, I already think that instantly looks better. Hello, phantoms. Ah, another nice morning. Actually, I don't think I actually mentioned this. I'm calling this town Omniville after my series and the server name. Although, feel free to suggest something else. It was really just a, a quick name that I stuck in there because I had to. Um, I, I, to be honest, I would kind of like something a bit more traditional that sounds like an actual town name. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. So let's try adding a bit more of this grey terracotta. Right, so I, I like the terracotta with the wood, but I feel like we are missing out on some details here. So let's try and add a couple of things to make this stand out a bit more because it's just it's just far too flat for my liking right now. So every shop definitely needs some windows. Now here's a little thing that I love doing with windows. Put some stairs there, put some stairs there, and it gives you a little nice window frame and also some very much needed depth to your build. And got a bunch of glass panes here, let's see how this looks. Well, I randomly sat down, that was my fault, I have a plugin that does that. Okay, so we've got some details and some depth there, and already this building is starting to pop out a bit more and look a bit more interesting, isn't it? I think we lost a lot of colour here with the terracotta, so I might maybe see if I can revisit that. Let's try taking away one of these stairs and put one of those there. Hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely have to think about that and play around with it a bit more. Let's put the stairs back for now. Okay, I'm definitely starting to feel the character of this building come to life. So what I want to do next is I want to do the floor inside. I want to do maybe a couple of bits of decoration, nothing fancy yet. And then I want to build a staircase because we're going to have a nice second story on here. I'm thinking maybe a cobblestone outside with um, some dark oak accents. We'll just start building and see what happens. Okay, we've got a really nice looking floor in here. I love the rich colour of dark oak. It makes a really, really nice floor or ceiling. So I'm going to put a little bit of decoration in here. Um, I don't think I'm going to use dark oak for that because obviously it looks far, far too similar to the flooring here. So I'll maybe try some... Well, maybe try a bit of everything really. I'll maybe try some acacia, maybe try some spruce. Do you know what? Just all of the stuff. I'll just try all of the things. Let's see what happens. Apparently I built this place right beside the flower biome, which is great because we've got birch trees around, we've got spruce trees, we've got oak trees. I don't know if there's any dark oak, but we've got dark oak back at my main base, so that's not much of a problem. Oh, I got really excited for a second there, and I was like, there was a swamp, there's a swamp, I can get some different trees. But no, it, I forgot it's just oak, but it just has the swamp colour palettes. Oh, I wish you could change the colour palettes of things, or they retained the colours. This is a very interesting shaped pond or lake here. As always, Mr. X gets distracted when he's trying to do something. Like in the last episode with my daughter where we just built some chickens. Built some chickens? No, we didn't build chickens. We bred some chickens so I could try and hit myself with an egg. Okay, we're back in the tailor's shop and we're going to start trying out some different types of wood. So good old oak, spruce and birch. I kind of like the oak to be honest. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the oak. It contrasts a nice bit, but it doesn't clash too much, so yeah, that looks good. So what I think I might do is I'll put an armour stand in this little bit here, facing out the window. You know, you need to attract customers, don't you? Placing stairs has to be one of the most difficult things you can do in Minecraft. It just does not make sense. Why are you upside down? Okay, we take that out and put this here, and we have a functioning counter. I love little details like this. Right, so we have the ground floor here. It's definitely not perfect by any means, but it's a start. So I'm going to get myself upstairs here and start building the second floor. And we'll see how the cobblestone looks when we've got a slanted, tilted house like this that goes down the way. So I've done a bit more work on the building and... I really don't know what to think of it. I kind of don't like it. I knew that I wanted a darker block. I did say I was going to use cobblestone, but that looked terrible. I thought the andesite, the polished andesite looked better, but now I just really don't like it. I need to go do some testing and find something that looks good. Okay, so I ripped down the second story, as you can see, and I'm going to try something a bit more consistent because I just think there was far too many textures and colours going on with that design there. So I'm going to have another go at it and we'll see how it turns out. 
Okay, that was a really good decision to take that back and make it more consistent across the levels. It just looks so much nicer, don't you guys agree? I know it looks a bit samey overall, but keep in mind there's going to be lots of other buildings nearby to give some contrast to it and change the colours a bit. So I'm going to spend a bit more time detailing this and building it up and probably add a roof onto it. And we'll be back when we've got something that looks like a really nice house. So I spent quite a bit of time detailing this place and it now looks like this. We've got a finished roof, we've got a nice looking outside with lots of variety. I don't know if I'm going to stay with the andesite slabs here, but I really like them so far, so we'll see how that turns out. You can see we've got a couple of signs here, one with a leather armour on it, one with some string on it. We've got a cool set of leather armour there. This is not a custom thing, this is just a recoloured one that I've put up. We've got a little bit of decoration in here, nothing too fancy yet. A couple of looms, there's a cauldron for the leather worker, some lamps, have a look upstairs, and it's nothing. Because I haven't decorated up here yet, there's still quite a bit of stuff to be done. I'm not entirely sure what to actually put up here. I might just make this entire floor armour stands full of armour because I know that I'm going to be creating more custom armour. I know there's a few people on the server who are interested in creating custom armour, so we'll see what happens. So as I said earlier in the video, the purpose of this town is to have villagers wander around and live their lives freely without being boxed in anywhere. And this is just the first step into that. So this is our tailor shop where we'll have wools and leathers and all that fun stuff. It's a really, really nice start and I'm quite happy with it. The purpose of the glowstone here is that I need to make sure that everything is going to be lit up everywhere so we don't get any monster spawns nearby. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you liked the build. I would be very interested to get some feedback on this and see what you guys think. Or if you have some interesting palette ideas for future buildings for the town, let me know. I'm very interested. I think for my next building I'm going to be experimenting with dark oak wood and maybe a sort of dark cyan or dark something terracotta. I don't know. I know there's a nice green one. I might try that and that'd be quite interesting. We'll see what happens, I guess. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.